Alright, yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski. Welcome back to some more Pokey and Mo random battles. Now, I haven't been able to queue up, I haven't been able to record some randoms in quite some time because during the 10 year anniversary event, I was obviously quite busy doing that, making content for it, etc., etc. So, it's always nice to jump back into the PvP scene after a while. I'm going to try my best, hopefully, get some quality games for you guys today, but we'll talk about it, we'll have fun, and we'll enjoy each other's company. Hopefully, you guys are having a good day. If you want to see some daily Pokemon content every single day, make sure to subscribe to the channel and maybe like the video if you find yourself enjoying your time here. But let's go ahead and move into this battle itself. So I saw Light Clay, Blissey, Leftovers, Gliscor. I'm still not used. I'm not used to battling 4th gen Pokemon. So there's a good chance this Porygon Z has Ice Beam, I have to assume, right? So Gliscor is obviously four times weak to that Ice Beam. Um, they are speed tied, which is interesting, but like, do I want to mess with that? Probably not. I probably should make the hard switch over to Blissey. It's probably going to be my best bet. Uh, but I want to check through everything really first. I do have Belly Drum Linoon. Now, Belly Drum Linoon is something that I absolutely love to see in randoms, but it's really risky-ish. You have to play really smart. Uh, it can be really scary. It's, it's, it's a tough tactic to nail perfectly. Uh, we see Meganium, Curse Meganium. This is going to be an interesting battle. So yeah, I'm going to go uh, Blissey here right off the bat. No questions asked. Let me also go ahead and change. There we go. I don't know if that'll benefit anything. but So Porygon goes for a trick. We get Choice Specs on our Blissey. He gets Light Clay on his Porygon Z. I think I'm oddly okay with that. It, it does suck. This It does cr heavily cripple my Blissey. So I actually really don't like that play. I've talked about that a lot in randoms. I really don't like blindly tricking like that. Um, especially turn one of the game. Like I'm So you know that I'm not going to stay in with Gliscor here. Like you know that I'm not. I'm never going to stay in with Gliscor. So you know that I'm probably going to switch to something else. I could have switched to like Machamp. I guess Machamp would have been hurt by Choice Bites. I don't know. There's a lot of things that could have been hurt by it. But I think it's a little scary. I think blindly tricking there is just really really risky but i respect a risky play so we'll go off it um i think i might just want to spam hyper voice now the fact that i have choice specs now i have two options i can either hyper i can either hyper voice or teleport out the issue is i don't really have a better pokemon to teleport out into and my hyper voice is going to end up doing some pretty solid damage here doing 54 percent so i always just click hyper voice again here i believe um because I'm checking to see if he has a ghost type. If he has a ghost type Pokemon, he brings it in now. I'd rather safely see if he has a ghost type Pokemon and then switch as opposed to just switching off the bat. Because, like, if he doesn't have a ghost type Pokemon, he's probably going to click an attack and move on his Porygon Z. Um, and just sacrifice his Porygon Z, essentially. So, I'm not going to risk, like, bringing in another Pokemon of mine to, like, possibly die or possibly, like, get really, really brutalized by this Porygon Z when I can just, like, I can pretty safely check if he has a Ghost type. So, if he doesn't, this thing is going to take massive damage for my Hyper Voice. I don't know if he's expecting this. 46%. Wow, so obviously now I assume this thing is going to go for some sort of fighting type attack. I think I'm going to go ahead and head over to Gliscor. I think Gliscor is pretty free here. Yeah, Glistor is also going to be faster. I feel like Glistor is like giga, giga free against this Luxray. I can't imagine this thing having anything to uh, to hit it. Superpower comes out. Nice. We're going to cripple the uh, Glistor. This thing ground flying? Okay. I had to make sure. I wasn't sure if it was rock flying or ground flying. I'm not familiar with these these fancy... I've, I've played very little with Glistor. Right now, I understand the Pokemon a decent amount, but... Not something I've played with a ton. Now, I'm pretty sure Porygon Z does not. I think it has Download and Analytic. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have access to Levitate. Uh, so, I haven't seen a Levitate or Flying-type Pokemon from him. Something I could do. Sort of a middle ground play here would actually be to Substitute. I might go for that. I think Substitute is the best play here. Because if I... Yeah, I think Substitute's a good play. He should be switching here. And I can set up sub. I can baton pass the sub. So something kind of insane that I could do is baton pass sub to Linoon and then have a substitute to be able to help me set up the belly drum. That would be pretty fucking powerful. I'd be very, very happy with that play. Now, this guy probably has something to fuck me up with. Uh, I think I could always EQ here. 
Uh, I don't think I want a baton pass here. I'm just gonna eat you. He's, he's gonna break. He's gonna break my sub. Like baton pass wouldn't really do much besides give me like a, a quasi teleport in a way. I didn't do as much damage as I thought. Stantler's Stantler do be a little tanky. Stant, Stantler do be a little bit of a tanky boy. Uh, I think I'm just gonna. I feel like I'm gonna tank his return. I have to tank his return pretty well. Just kidding. Wow. How much did we 39%? Dude, that's crazy. Gliscor is getting his shit handed to him by the Stantler. I respect it. I kind of love to see that. So honestly, fair enough. Now, do I have any sort of easy switch in to this return? I could probably go Meganium here. He's going to die to Life Orb here. I could probably go Meganium here in like Synthesis. Or I could just sacrifice my Gliscor. This play really comes down to, like, do I want to sacrifice? I think I want to keep my gl my Glistor as a sack. But, like, does it really matter if I... I don't know, man. It's weird. I think I'm going to go Meganium here. This could be a weird play. This is kind of risky-ish. Guessing it'll do... Ooh, like, that did way more damage than I expected. That was kind of... Oh, it crit. Okay, never mind. It crit. That's why. Not really my fault, but... I was expecting it to do, like, 20 to 30%. So, it would have done... I think it would have done, like, 30 to 35. Yeah, which is f I'm fine with. But it crit. Or no, what it done? No, excuse me, what is it like 50% or something? Because it it's 1.5. Oh, he does bring in this. So, ah, this is brutal. I really want to synthesis here because I'm faster. But I'm it's actually decently fast. I think I just bring in something to deal with. Hmm. Do I just go Blissey and spam Hyper Voice? It's honestly pretty safe. I think there's a slight chance this thing is, um. What's it called, though? This thing is going to have some sort of setup. I'm, like, pretty sure. I don't think this thing is ever going to, um... I'm going to go Blissey. I don't think this thing is ever going to, like, just sit here. It's either going to be a sword dance or do some weird setup stuff. Um, I don't think it's ever just going to sit here and tank it. I assume it's hidden power fire. Um, I should be super safe to just spam hyper voice here. Dude, choice specs? This choice specs hyper voice Blissey is actually putting in work this game. It might be... Like, it might be my most valuable Pokemon in this game. But maybe that or uh, the Glistor. The Glistor put in a lot of work. Just tanking a lot of things. Scouting a lot of things. The, Blist the Glistor got me a lot of information. Which is invaluable in random. So, my opponent has seen three of my Pokemon. My opponent has only seen Glistor, Blissey, and... Um, he just hidden powers again. Interesting. Glistor, Blissey, and Meganium. So, he's only seen my tanky Pokemon. He hasn't seen any of my super frail Pokemon in the back. I just keep hyper voice in here. I wonder if he has synthesis or something. The issue is if, if he has synthesis, I guess he has to go for it here. But like... Interesting. I can't believe that play. How much is this going to do? I forget the roll on this. 44%, sure. So we all know he's going to go for superpower here, right? Um, I think I just sacked my Glistor here. Or do I even need to sack my Glistor? I can sack Meganium? Meganium does not look like it's doing that much this game. But I have no sustain on my on my Glistor. My Glistor not having Roost is a really big deal. But my Glistor is quite fast. How fast is Kingler? 166. My team outspeeds his team quite well. I think I'm going to go Meganium, and there is a slight chance that I actually just live the superpower. I don't, I really don't think I do, but yeah, I'm going to sack Meganium here, essentially. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this play. And now I can go ahead and bring in anything that's faster than it, so I think I'm just going to bring in Glistor here. Glistor is also faster than anything on his team so far. See, so yeah, I think I always just bring this in an EQ. Like, he could go Sunflora here, but I chipped down the Sunflora enough to where I can just EQ it twice and kill it. Yeah, he's pretty much... I've chipped down all of his important Pokemon enough to where anything that I see that he can bring in will just get double EQ'd and I'll be faster than it. Except for Porygon Z. Porygon Z could potentially... Uh, we speed tie, so there could be a potential interesting RNG roll there or something of the sort. Wailord comes in. Crazy. I guess this will take, honestly, more damage than I expected. I'm, I'm really happy. That's a crit. That's why. I was like, I'm really happy with that amount of damage. That is actually pretty shocking. Um, 
The issue is this Waylord's actually pretty difficult to take care of, and I got rid of my Meganium. Uh, this is a little awkward. It's a little awkward. I think I... I literally feel like I have to just stay in an EQ, but I really want to keep this Speed Demon around. I could go Blissey here, expecting him to be special and throw up another like Hyper Voice or whatever, but I kind of want to bring in... I guess that's Blissey's job. Yeah, I think that's the play. If you, I'm really low on time. I absolutely need to play faster. Holy shit, I did not realize how little time I have left. Scald. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I, I need to be playing faster. That's actually unacceptable. I'm gonna lose the game from. Uh, I've, and I've done. That, I've done that like I think once before, maybe, on these uh, these sort of games. I need to play faster. If I make a mistake, it's okay. I just can't lose the time. So like, why, I, dude? My opponent is staying in way too often against this choice specs Blissey and just letting. Just letting this absolute demon put out put out insane hyper voice damage. That's been crazy. Dude, Blissey has gotten so much chip this game. Blissey is absolutely off the rails. Getting out giga chip, get giga damage. He's really just giving his Waylord like this? Wait, that's crazy! He like took the time. So getting rid of my Meganium while he has Waylord in the back against my team is pretty it's pretty decent. Um, I, I don't know if he has some sort of mixed moveset. I don't know his moveset. I don't know if he had access to heavy... I mean, obviously, he didn't have access to like, heavy slam or anything. Was he choice specs or choice scarf? He must have been choice scarf, I assume, or something. Chimeco is going to come in. This thing might not actually be able to kill me. In some in some weird world, this thing can't kill me at this HP. If it, does, if it doesn't have access to body slam. There's a lot of Chimecos that are just like wish protect like insane sets. If he, if he tanks a single attack from his Chimeco here, like, this was a huge misplay. Plus, he gave me information on it. Okay, no, he has Psy Shock. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Whew. Now, what is the play, boys? This is kind of tough. This is kind of tough. I don't want to bring in Doug Trio yet. Doug Trio can Giga Sweep later. Uh, Kingler is faster than this. This is the perfect time to bring Kingler in. Perfect time. I just bring in Kingler and try to do some damage. I think I always crab hammer here. I really, I really, really partially wish I would have been able to, or maybe I just return. Like, I just need some damage. Do I really risk the 90% chance, the 10% chance of crab hammer missing? Part of me really wants to, but I could lose the game off it. I'm going to return. It's really, it's really weird here to return. Like, I really want to crab hammer, but I literally think that, like, I think that Doug Trio will sweep the everything, and I think, um, oh, that did no damage to me. I think if I miss the crab hammer, now I feel pretty safe crab hammering me. Because I might be able to just KO with crab hammer at this range. Especially if I crit. Yeah, I'm safe to crab hammer here. I can't believe they um they signal beamed there instead of uh Psy shocked. I or, no 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 still be to yeah, it's special defense. Huh, that just did no damage. I mean it's still be being a 75 base power non-stab move into you know, neutral damage. Yeah, crab hammer kills. It was a crit. It has an increased crit chance. So, I mean, still a little lucky, but important to factor in. Oh, and I knew that was the play, so I just have to still play around it. So, obviously, I just sacrificed this thing here. I sacrificed this thing to offer pressure. I should be able to bring in Doug Trio and just EQ through everything. That was my uh, intentions here, if it wasn't if it wasn't made clear. Um, Doug Trio should be able to come in and sweep through everything. Or Linoon. I essentially have two Pokemon in the back. Even three. Like, even Gliscor could sweep through this. This game was very, very, very well won in my favor. I have, like, th literally three potential Pokemon. Even four if you count, like, Kingler being able to outspeed these two. But yeah, I had a lot of... I have a, a pretty big win in my favor. I'm pretty happy with how I played this game. I think I did pretty much... I don't want to always say everything in my power, but I think I played it pretty well. I think the biggest misplay was switching into uh, Meganium. I think it took a lot more damage than I expected. But I'm not sure. Like, I, I don't know, man. It's tough to say. Like, part of me wants to say that that was a misplay, and I, sh and I should have just sacked the, the Glistor, but keeping the Glistor around was pretty beneficial. I don't know. I think I should have... I think I should have sacked... I think I should have sacked Glistor. <clears throat> I think it's tough, though, because, like, Glistor speed time Porygon Z is a big deal here. Drinking some quick water. Always stay hydrated. So I don't think my opponent is BMing at the moment because I, he just I don't think my I think he's just I think he's just thinking I think it's just if, if it goes to time and he loses to time then he's BMing, uh, which is kind of lame. But 
I think he's just thinking. So my opponent is thinking because he doesn't know that I have Doug Trio. He doesn't he doesn't know I have Doug Trio or Lightning in the back. So he thinks that he can probably still win. I assume. Um, but it it should be GG's. This should be uh should be GG's from here. I should be able to just straight up EQ, I think, through everything. Let's see if he notices or let's see if he goes to like I mean sacrificing something wouldn't do really do anything because I'm faster. He's a he's arena trap too, so he can't even switch. Yeah, so I'm gonna arena trap, take out the Porygon Z, and now I should be able to just sweep through everything with uh, with EQ. I probably could have arguably brought in Doug Trio sooner. I really didn't take advantage of Doug Trio's. Um, this should kill, I think. That's actually there's a chance it doesn't kill. Um, I didn't really I didn't really take advantage of Doug Trio's. Oh yeah, it doesn't quite kill, huh? I'm I'm still fine, but uh, it does, I didn't really yeah. Oh, the Giga Drain's gonna heal him a lot though. Ooh, okay, this is a little interesting. A little interesting. No, I think that's a. I think that's GG. Um, I'm actually. This is gonna be kind of weird. I think I'm gonna bring in Gliscor here. Um. Yeah, I think I bring in Gliscor here. So the reason I bring in Gliscor is because I'm gonna be a little faster. So I'm gonna EQ to get a little more chip. They can get good drain me. That's fine. Hit me for neutral. Um. I bring in Gliscor here to, to do a little more chips, just just to like make 1,000% sure that extreme speed Linoon without having to belly drum can kill it. That's that's my reasoning. So this is Giga Drain. I only did 18%. This is kind of scary. I wonder if um, for whatever reason, I'm really really scared. Like I just can't. I have to just extreme speed here. I I can't belly drum here, but I'm really scared. I don't kill. For whatever reason. I don't! <gasps> like, are you kidding? Oh, no. There's no way I lose this game ever, right? Giga Drain did 91%! This is what I was scared of. So, I, yeah, because I'm pretty sure this thing is... Cho I think I lost this game. No way in any world did I lose this game. I am in shock. This, I mean, this was Choice Spec Sun Flora. I got reverse Sunflora swept. No way. Oh, wow. I guess I should have switched off the trio. That's a frustrating game. I feel like I played this game a lot better than my opponent. But I, I must have made a... I guess I made a miscalculation at the end. I feel like I should have switched... I should have switched out the trio and sacrificed... Yeah. The play that I should have made is I should have switched out the trio... Um, and brought in Glistor to the Giga Drain, so it, the the Sun Floor didn't go to 100% HP or like whatever full HP almost. Wow, that is a frustrating game to feel like it got ripped out from under me at the very end. I feel like I played that game so much better than my opponent the entire way. I feel like I had set everything up, and I feel like I made a little greedy, fast play to try to end the game faster because I was so certain in my victory. And I, man, I guess I was too cocky. That sucks. Ugh, that happens. All you can do is uh, move on from it and try to win the next. We've got Lychee Berry, Dodrio. Flail is terrible. This move is this move never does damage. Um, it's literally a terrible move. Um, Lychee Berry, Drill Peck, Jump Kick. Jump Kick is fine. Let's say Jump Kick. Um, having Vault Switch Jolteon is pretty nice. It's we It's really, really weird that it's Light Clay, Double Screens Jolteon. I really wish it was like Choice Specs or something. Um... Oh, man, facing down for Alligator at the start is so scary. It's so scary. I'm Lychee Berry. Part of me really wants to just straight up sub... Sub up from here. But... Because Ice Punch... I don't know if Ice Punch probably won't kill me from the start. This, this is going to be a weird... I think I stay in in this fight. I think I stay in here. He's going to go for like a Waterfall or an Ice Punch or something. So what do we got going on? This has Intimidate, which is important. Leftovers, Intimidate, Mightyana switch. Uh, Arbok. We have double Intimidate switches. That'll be really important to remember. I definitely don't remember that enough. This thing is uh, Black Sludge. Glare is important. This Arbok, that Arbok can be a pain. A real, real pain. Uh, Magadium having Giga Drain. Speed Boost Ninjast. Okay. I gotta play this better. I cannot, I'm just so, I cannot believe I lost that last game. I'm really, really bummed about that. Um, 
Yeah, I'm just... Wow. I think I drill peck here from the start to test damage. I don't think he kills me. I could sub down and just get up the strategy, but I don't think he one-shots me. What is what is this thing's bulk and HP stats? Actually, maybe he does one-shot me. What is for alligator's base attack unboosted, though? I don't have it in my dad, so I'm looking up really quick. Black White Smogan for Alligator. Like it's so it's unstabbed 75 base power ice punch. That's what I'm worried about. Um 105. Part of me feels like I can tank one ice punch. But it's close. I'm a I'm a little scared. Oh, I do no damage here. Um I want to tank one ice punch here. Yeah, okay. And essentially now sub up to uh to proc my leechy. He's life orb as well. So yeah. This was kind of my plan all along. I was hoping that I would end up with a decent amount of HP. So I can hit him once with Drill Peck. And instead of just straight subbing down, now I can um, hit him once with Drill Peck, get his HP a little lowered, go down lower HP, substitute up, proc the Leechy Berry, get in Flail range. So if Flail doesn't kill here, I'll be sad because it really would show how unbelievably useless this move is. If Flail can't do 50% HP while well, I am plus one attack boost from a Leechy Berry and 19 HP, then, I mean, it just really shows how bad the move is. But, okay, we do we do, do enough damage, thankfully. I crit, so honestly, I might not have been able to do enough damage without the crit. It's hard to tell. But thankfully, thankfully, we no matter what, we kill him, which is what really, really mattered to me there. Uh, he's going to bring in Wormadam. Interesting. <clears throat> Kind of a smart play. Um, I'm scared of this thing like quiver dancing. Should I stay in here and go for damage? What is this thing's base base stats once again? This is the bud grass one. It's not going to be quite the same. Let me look it up on smoke real quick. I'm running out of time. I'm already I'm already playing this second game so slow. So we're damn trash. 95 base defense, 60 HP. Uh, it's probably Quiver Dance sort of thing. It, it's probably just setting up Stealth Rocks, possibly. If it's setting up Stealth Rocks, I should say it stayed in, in attack. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Drill Peck. Honestly, really happy I stayed in and did that. Drill Peck did a lot of damage there. So now Iron Head and finish me off. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. That was a lot of damage. I'm fine with that play. That was a lot of damage. This thing is Bug Steel, so it's four times weak to uh, to fire. I don't have any fire types to bring into it. I can't poison it. <laughs> Tempted to go like Arbok and just like Glare or Dragon Tail or something of the sort. I don't really have a great way to deal with this thing, honestly. Yeah, I really, I really don't have a great way to deal with this thing. So what I could do is go Jolteon here and Vault Switch. God, I'm losing so much, so much time. I think I'm gonna go Jolteon and um, this is kind of weird. I could set up screens, I guess. Does it really matter? This thing's probably not gonna fuck me up too hard. I'm gonna set up screens, I think. It's gonna set up Stealth Rocks. I'll take a screen trade for some. I mean, it's all I can do. Do I have Defog? This thing could have Defog, I believe. Set up double light screen. No, no defog. Yeah, no defog options. Okay, so I'm not I'm not gonna be able to get rid of rocks. Oh, that sucks for ninjas. Oh man. That's a bummer. I'm not gonna lie. He's gonna protect here again. Interesting. Uh rocks do kind of suck for my team, but man, what can I do? What can you do? I'm gonna go ahead and vault switch out now. Question is, what am I vaulting into? I think Arbok. Not having EQ on this thing is pretty unfortunate. Maybe I should just bring in something that can just do straight up damage, or just like start punching holes. But I really don't. I just don't have that, honestly. Hmm. I think I just go Arbok and like Dragon Tail. And see what's up. I think I have to force him into position. I either go Arbok here and Dragon Tail or go Meganium uh, and try to. But he could have a Bug type move and hit Meganium kind of hardish. I can't Toxic. Yeah, so he can't Toxic me. Nice. If I go Meganium, I'm literally just Leech Seed spamming. Like that would that would that would be my my form of play. So yeah, I think I just Dragon Tail here. Unfortunately, 
like glare isn't that good here because like what makes paralysis good is having the speed the issue is all of my pokemon are going to be faster than the super slow pokemon anyway so i'm not really worried about that i just want to bring in dragon tail and try to do things man this thing stealth rocks getting up is so bad for my ninjast it's it's unfortunate but like what could i have done here better like like switching in ninjask even if i even if i switch in ninjask on that turn or whatever i can't do any damage to this thing like with with my ninjask is the issue it's tough okay i do have to play a little faster i only have 22 seconds left as per usual i'm, I'm playing slow it's definitely something i should try to improve on it's good to play slow you don't want to play too fast but you don't want to play too slow either it's just how to find that mix obviously if you know if it isn't if that isn't obvious but it's important to find a good mix good middle ground I do love this guy's name. I'm a Petrowski. He's a Dodotsky. You know, I don't know. You love to see it. The fellow Ski Brothers. Okay. Dragon Tail is actually going to do a decent amount of damage to this thing and make him switch. That was really good for me. That was very good. So we see... Yeah, that was very, very good plays for me. So we get information. We see the Salamence. So I'm going to try to glare here for sure. If I can glare Magmar, he shouldn't be able to kill me. If I can glare Magmar, that's really good for me. Glaring Magmar or Salamence are both incredible. Oh my god, he's in a straight up belly drum. What a mad... Why would you belly drum? Wait, that's a crazy play. What if I just Dragon Tail there? I mean, I'm still going to glare, which is really good for me. I can't believe he made that play. That's actually an insane play. I think my best play here is just to uh, Dragon Tail and hope that... Um... Uh, is there... Yeah, I think I just Dragon Tail and hope he gets parried. Is that really my play? My best play? He's glared though now. I'm trying to think like... Should I just sack something else instead? I think this is a decent play. Yeah, that's so good for me. Oh, my... You should never belly drum there. That was a terrible play. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a little mean, a little harsh. I would say it's really, really risky and bad. <laughs> maybe not Maybe not terrible. Um, it's just very, very, very... You literally saw me throw up Dragon Tail. Why are you trying to... Why are you trying to play games like that? Uh, part of me really wants to go over to Jolteon, but there's a really good chance he actually EQs here. I still have screens up, I believe, so maybe it's fine? It's so awkward. Uh, I think I'm going to go over to... Maybe this is the time to bring in Ninjast. I think this is actually the time. I'm going to bring in Ninjast. Even if he just dies, even if my Ninjast just dies to something, I think he's going to EQ here, though. <clears throat> Dragon Claw. Yeah, my Ninjast just dies. That's fine. My thought process is he crits. I don't, I, don't I don't think that crit mattered. Um, even if my ninjas just dies, I'm super cool with that. Because now I can bring Arbok back in. And go for the gla glale, glare? Glale? Glare slash Dragon Tail. Intimidate him. Lower his stuff. I think I just always Dragon Tail here. Dragon Tail is going to do really decent damage to the Salamence and switch him out. Or uh, bring, in, bring out, like, you know, switch out whatever he brings in. So yeah, he's going to bring back in Magmar. Take some damage. Get switched back out. Nice to see, nice to see. Salamence comes back in. Same, do it all over again. I guess he does. He, so we're in like Intimidate Wars, which is funny. A Reflect wears off, which is un, which is unfortunate. I wonder if he'll just attack me here. He might just he might be in a position to just attack me here. Part of me really wants to glare here. It's so greedy. I'm gonna glare here in case he stays in. Yes, and he defogged. Getting that was a terrible defog. I can't believe he did that. He blew away Stealth Rocks on my side of the screen just to blow away my light screen. My Reflect was already down. I can't believe he did that. Oh, my friend. That was a crazy play. I can't believe that play happened. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and go over to Mighty Anna now. It feels weird, though. Like, I, I'm not really going to be hitting, hitting anything for damage, but it's a good Intimidate switch. Maybe that's too weird slash greedy. I don't know, man. I gotta, I gotta play, though. I'm taking too much time. Let me Dragon Tail here. He might switch. Yep, there we go. I was like, fuck it. Let me Dragon Tail here. Even though I'm intimidated by one. It's just momentum, baby. Just some nice momentum. Lick it. We see some more information. That's what I'm talking about. This thing might have Heal Bell. Which is a little unfortunate. Oh, what do I do here, man? I'm in a really weird spot. I don't want to glare in case it has Heal Bell. I'm intimidated. I'm gonna switch to... um. I'm in a really weird spot. I'm gonna switch to Mighty Anna here. This might be a huge misplay. I might have maybe should have gone Meganium. So my, oh, he can't be lowered. Yeah, Heal Bell grows up. This is kind of a huge misplay. Not a huge misplay, but I was expecting the Heal Bell to come out. 
Uh, I'm gonna throw up a Toxic in Retaliation. See what he goes for. I could also just hard switch here to um, to Arbok or something. Wormadan comes in. Good Wormadan switch. I can't Toxic this. I don't know if he expected the Toxic or not, but... <sighs> this is tough, man. This is a tough... Oddly a very, just a very, very tough game. Uh, I think I go... So he's gonna set up rocks again. I think I go Jolteon here. I guess yeah, I go Jolteon. Then I can like Volt Switch or just set up screens again from this position. This is so tough. I think I set up screens here. I think yeah, this is actually the absolutely I think perfect time to set up screens because um to if he defogs he has to get rid of his rocks again. And then, uh, yeah, Toxic is fine. Do I have Quick Feed or anything? Quick Boost? Vault Absorb? No. That's okay. Do I even want to set up Light Screen? I don't see any special attackers. I'm just going to Vault Switch out. So, I kind of, part of me wants to Light Screen just to stay in. In case he weirdly goes Salamance for whatever reason. But, now nah, we're going to make the smart play. I think I have to go Meganium here. And go for Light. I think I want to bring in Meganium and Leech Seed. I think that's my play. Dude, I am so low on time. Iron Head, gonna do little damage to me. Yeah, very, very little damage. I need to play faster, man. This is getting really scary. I do have one thing toxic, so I could aromatherapy here as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Leech Seed first, though. Maybe that was a misplay. Maybe I should have just got. But I have. No, 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 it's not. That's why. I have a Heal Bell on my Mighty Anna as well. So I knew it wasn't a misplay because I, I, I knew I had a second way to. Uh, to sustain. Get rid of this. It's gonna be a very grindy game, too. He's staying into Iron Head. I'm really surprised he's just staying into Iron Head here. I don't know why you'd do that. Maybe he's just trying to bring in a. I think he's trying to safe switch in Magmar. Maybe that's his thought process. He's healing a lot of damage here. I'm gonna go ahead and just aromatherapy for for free here. Like I might as well. Um, I can all got you know, even though I can heal ball later, now is the time. Ah, he goes for toxic. Interesting, interesting. I could just kill him here probably with Dia Drain or whatever. But now I want to heal bell this again. <clears throat> I'm I'm I think I'm doing a slightly more damage with my leech seed <clears throat> than he is uh healing with his lefties. If I'm not mistaken. So he can go Magmar here. Yep, sure. I'm super okay with this. Kind of. <laughs> it's kinda weird. I could have potentially just attacked there and... But, but Giga Drain wouldn't even have killed this thing, so I'm not worried about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. <clears throat> um, now, do I want to go Mighty Anna? I think Mighty Anna. Mighty Anna is a Pokemon that, like, I don't... I don't really care about that much this game. Like, I really, really don't. Um, and get, using it for the Intimidate... It's kind of like, like a sacrifice, Intimidate, switch around, like, hurt. Mock Punch is scary. That did so little damage, though. Oh, my God. This thing's definitely Eevee Light or whatever. Um, do I want a Toxic or just straight up Crunch? What are the odds? I'm going to Crunch, I guess. Mock Punch does no damage. That's actually crazy. Crunch finishes. That's awesome. Okay, Mighty Anna putting in the work. We're in a pretty decent position so far. We still could always lose. Especially, I don't know what his last Pokemon is. <clears throat> I think Dodatsky's playing pretty damn well. In my personal humble opinion. Now, what's he going to go for here? I don't know what he's trying to go... He's trying to set up or something? I'm going to go for a crunch and test damage. 24%, I'll take it. Yeah, seismic toss trades. I see you, I see you. I see you, I see you. Okay, I think from this position, I just always go over to... Um, Meganium and set up Leech Seed and play those games. And I can Giga Drain as well. I think Leech Seed's the perfect kind of counter to, uh, to Lickitung here. He's going to wish up. Well played. My opponent's playing pretty well. So what are the odds he just protects here? Um, like 100%, right? Is there anything I can do to counteract that? Or do I always just... Are my screens down? Oh man, it's tough to tell. I think I'm just going to Leech Seed, even if he protects. He just straight switches. Okay, so I'm happy with Leech Seed. I almost hard switched to Jolteon here, though, which would have been really good because I would have been able to respond with HP Ice, but it was a really risky play. 
slash set up streams. Maybe, maybe I should have gone it. It's a weird. It's a weird play for sure. <clears throat> um, even if this thing throws off some sort of strong uh, flying type attack or yeah, flamethrower, I think I'm safe to go ahead and just toxic here. Toxic and Leech Seed should be able to chip him down, heal me up a little bit. Do I have leftovers as well? Yeah, I'm leftovers plus Leech Seed, so I'm healing a, a, a lot of damage each turn. The problem is he does four times resist my Grass Attack, which is pretty terrible for me. Um, like, what do I even do here? Does he just Flamethrower again? Does he really Flamethrower? Part of me wants to go Jolty on here. But what if I? What are the odds I die? Oh man, I'm just gonna be weird and stay in Leech Seed. Yeah, this is this is kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. So I I stay in Leech Seed here in case he just he decides to switch, and I kind of am just stalling a turn. It's it's a really weird play for sure, but I'm kind of just stalling a turn there. I think I'm gonna go Jolty on here. There's no way Flamethrower should kill me, I'm pretty sure. For a Flamethrower from Salamence, I don't think kills me. He roosts. That's really good for me. So now, no matter what, I always click Hidden Power Ice here. I, I, he might expect me to just Vault Switch, but um, I guess I could Light Stream to like really slow play it. No, I'm going to HP Ice just in, yeah. In case, for whatever reason, he stays in and doesn't expect it, and I think it's worth... I think it's worth. I think I have no screens up at the moment, which is really important. Um, I don't know if I want to set anything up or just Volt Switch. I think I just Volt Switch out, honestly. Keep, I think the momentum right now is more important. What do I bring here into this? I wonder how much damage Poison Jab would do to this thing. Um, I think, I bring, I think, I think Meganium Leech Seed is fine. This is a scary late game. I feel like I'm not playing this to the- I feel like I'm not playing this the best, I'll be totally honest. This is a scary late game. I feel like I need to be punching holes. I'm gonna just Jitter Drain, actually. I need to be- he's gonna wish, maybe. That did so little damage. Wow. That did no damage to this thing. I should have just Leech Seeded, definitely, then. Holy shit. That was terrible, terrible, terrible damage. Okay, I'm gonna switch to, um... Jolty on here expecting the switch over to Salamence or something then even if he has to like seismitos or do something you know, It's fine. He might heal himself up here. He might stay in and just heal himself up. I should have thought about that a little more Yeah, he's, yeah, he just stays in to heal himself up I don't really care about screens too much here. I feel I feel like I really really don't Shouldn't have vault switch out this is weird, man. This is tough. A tough game. I think I just bring an Arbok finally and do some shenanigans. Do some, like, glare. I need to be- I haven't substituted once. I can't intimidate him, which sucks. Seismitoss is gonna fuck me. Ah. Did I sacrifice my- Did I basically just give up my Arbok here for no reason? Man, I, I feel like I'm really butchering this late game. I feel like I'm, I'm truly not playing it well. I feel like I have to go Meganium here to stall it out, but it's just so boring, and I feel like I'm look I feel like I'm looking for an out. I'm looking for a different special play. Uh, but I should, I should just be playing it smart. If he goes Wormadam here, he's a fucking madman. I don't think you ever do that, but we'll see. He could wish and go Wormadam. I want to Poison Jab and check damage. Like, how much damage is my Arbok really doing? What's this thing's base attack? Maybe like 80? 95? Like, it's 95 base attack. Like, it's decent enough. You're telling me I can't, uh... I should maybe two... The problem is I can't even two-shot, because... I mean, if I threaten two-shot at this HP, it'd be really good for me. I only do 20%. Man, Eviolite Lickitung is a fucking lame Pokemon to play against. Wow, that is really sad. Yeah, I mean, I just have to go. It's so boring. I just have to go Meganium. It's so boring. Oh, I hate boring Pokemon. Ugh, unfortunate. 
I mean, it's my fault. I, I wanted to make the interesting play, and I think I do that a lot, where I make the, the quote-unquote more interesting or exciting play, but it's just, it risks the game, and it loses the game, and it's it's not a good play. So I'm going to Salamence here. Boring. Yeah, my opponent, I mean, he's playing smart. He's playing smart. He's playing well. I'm playing poorly is what it really comes down to, but it is a frustrating endeavor, I'll say. So, he's obviously always going to go for the, uh, the flamethrower here. Do I, even, I, I can tank one and throw up the Toxic and, f and force him to Aromatherapy it off or Heal Ball it off. Um, I do want to... He's in a Dragon Claw. Interesting. I think he was expecting a Jolteon switch there, which is which is a smart play. Do I just, like... I feel like part of me just brings in this Medanium and, like, sits on every single Pokemon he has left with Medanium. But it's just such a boring way to play this. It's just so incredibly boring. I can't do any damage to these things besides like Leech Seed and, and, and Toxic and everything. These Stealth Rocks have also really worn me down over time, which is unfortunate. Um, I think I literally, like, even though I four times, he four times resists, I think I just need a drain here. Try to do like 10% damage, maybe, probably not even. 13%, honestly. Big damage, big damage. <laughs> Try to force him into a range where he is uh, he's scared. Yep, so if he stays in for one more turn here, he's going to die to uh, Toxic plus Leech Seed, I think. That I just literally stay in and go for a, uh, a Giga Drain just in case he brings in. Yep, because he's gonna switch here. Look at Tongue. It's so, but I still do no damage. Like it's still, it's so. Like even though I predict that, like it doesn't matter. <clears throat> That's frustrating. <clears throat> I can't gain any momentum because I'm not doing enough damage. I just don't. I don't do enough damage with any of my Pokemon. Is the real issue. None of my Pokemon do enough damage. Oh, that's frustrating. I'm gonna leech seed here. He's probably gonna go for the. Uh, I don't know if he'll heal belt here or just wish first or what, but. Yeah, pretty boring. Can't blame him, but. It's frustrating. I think wish Pokemon in general just kind of promote slow. It sometimes can promote slow methodical play. Very slow methodical strategic play, but sometimes it just really promotes. Um, just passive play, which passive play for the sake of passive play is frustrating. Pokemon, the great Wolfie VGC always says that Pokemon is like at its at its best when it's a mix of attacking threats. It's a good balanced uh, team of Pokemon with uh, mixed attacking threats, some aggression, some passivity, some defensiveness, mostly defensiveness. I think you want to aim for. He's obviously going to stay. He's going to protect here, like super obviously, but I can't really even do much. With that, like, I'll bring in Mighty Anna and try to crunch him down for like 24%. So I don't do enough damage. Like, yeah, it just sucks. Wow, he heal bells there. That's crazy. That's insane. Interesting. Interesting. I guess I wouldn't have been able to kill. Oh man, I think I just have to to crunch, crunch threat, threaten. 24%. I just do so little damage to this thing. When he can just wish protect up, like, it's just so lame. Still has the leech seed on him, though, which is relevant. So he's obviously going to protect here. So what can I do? I really can't do much, is the issue, right? Um, I could go Jolteon and set up screens. It's kind of like the best thing I have going on. He's just going to protect here to get that wish up guaranteed. Oh, he's a madman. Rotom Mo is his last Pokemon. That's pretty good. That's pretty scary for me. Pretty good for him. Um, part of me, I think I really, really want to light stream first here and then HP Ice, but it's so scary. That might throw the entire game. I, I think I have to, though. This might just throw the entire game. Trick. Sure. That's fine. Oh, please give me... Oh, please give me, like, Choice Specs or something, or Choice Scarf. Are you kidding me? Why would you do that? Oh, my opponent's crazy. That's so good for me. Now, please kill him with HP Ice. 
and it's so close. I can't. Why would you trick my Jolte? Why would you trick Specs on my Jolteon? Dude, my opponent. Oh, that's a crazy play. The late game throw. Can I win this game now? That is so good for me. Can I sweep with HP Ice? I probably can't. Why would you switch? That like guarantees a, a sweep for me. No, what? My opponent's crazy. My opponent is absolutely insane. Oh I, oh, I, oh, I can't kill this thing quite. Oh, I think I have to switch here. Oh, that's crazy, though. Oh, that's so crazy. What a play. What a turn of plays. I just can't let him do wish shenanigans. I can't let him, like, wish back up. Can he really do that much damage to me here? I'm scared of, like, some EQ crazy shit or something. I'm gonna... I'm gonna stay in for one more turn and see what's up. As long as I can bring my Jolteon in... Toxic? Oh, that's so good! Why would you Toxic? Oh, he's crazy! This player's crazy! He's kind of... Crit or high roll? Possibly kill? Question mark? Dude, holy shit! The series of throws at the end to possibly grant me the victory. 11.9%, he's so close to being dead. I don't think he has Roost or anything, right? Toxic is fine. I'm fine with that. I'm fine. I just HP Ice here to finish this. This doesn't have Protect, right? Please don't have Protect here. That would be really annoying. I could Heal Bell this thing. I literally have a Aromatherapy and a Heal Beller. Oh, please. I don't know if this kills. Don't wish back up. Oh, I need to stay in and kill. The problem is he can just Protect. So he's going to Protect on this turn 100%. So what I have to do here is I switch to Mighty Anna. Mighty Anna will threaten Crunch as well as Heal Bell. Which, he doesn't know I have heal well on this thing. He's gonna protect here. He has to protect here. You're fucking insane. I can't believe he didn't. That's an ins that is an insane series of plays. Uh, I always have to crunch here. Yeah, get Lickton out of here. So he can't wish pass anymore. Oh, that's so good. Oh, these two games have been intense. Dude, I can't believe I lost the first game. This second game is winnable after an insane series of throws later in the game. Oh, please tell me I can win this game. This would be such a sick victory. I know he's not Scarf. I should just be able to crunch here and KO this thing. I'm faster. Let's fucking go, dude. What a sick victory. Oh, I'm so happy with this win. Me and my opponent both played. I played worse at times, but he also played really bad towards the end. Me and my opponent just played very, very long battles. We, dude, it's just, it's just a long battle. Like, me and him just played very, very long fights for a very, very long time. And it was, it was great fights, great battles. I'm going to switch Arbok here to, uh, to Sacrifice. To get an Intimidate proc and Sacrifice. Big props to my opponent. He played fantastically. How are we 48 minutes into this video with only two games played? That's absurd. Usually I do three games in my random sessions, but this is going to have to be a tour. That's insane. Wow, he didn't even... Oh, he roosted. I totally forgot he roosted. my fault for sure, honestly. Uh, I think I just... I mean, I'm slower. I'm just going to die. Um, I just go for the glare here just in case something weird happens. Yeah, I, sa I sack my Arbok here still no matter what. I'm okay with that. I bring in Jolty on here. Go for the uh, HP Ice. HP Ice will kill this. Yeah, Choice Specs, HP Ice. I should be fine. It will kill Salamence if he stays in. Yes. And then, yeah, that's GG's. I know that we also kill Wormadam. What an insane game, too. Holy shit. That was a crazy one. Up to turn 58, 59 or so. This was a 30. You can even see the time here. 31 minute battle. That was a crazy one. GG's to my opponent, man. Dodotsky really put on a fantastic performance. I've definitely had worse chokes in my days, I understand. He played pretty fantastically. Oh, yes. After 50, 50 minutes of playing randoms, ladies and gentlemen, we were able to raise our ELO 0.20. Absolutely love to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure to like it. If you didn't, make sure to dislike it. That's totally fine as well. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon content. Check out the Discord link down below. 
uh, to join a really cool community. And then if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, you can do so with the PayPal and Venmo links down below or becoming a YouTube member and get that little shuckle badge. Anyways, I appreciate you guys just watching at all. I appreciate your time. Hopefully you guys have a great day and hopefully you had some fun and maybe learned something, but you probably didn't learn too much from these battles. I don't know. They were a little funny, but I'll see you guys later. Peace.